morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. We're checking out of this beautiful resort today, which I'm so sad about. We've had such an amazing couple of days here. It's honestly been so much fun. Before we check out though, the camera's steaming up. <laughs> it's just come from inside and it's really warm in here compared to the minus 16 that we've got outside today. Before we do check out though today, we have booked a fun activity. It's the Apuka Snow Fun Day. And it involves just lots of fun basically in the snow. I think this one's really aimed towards children. Not to say that if you're two adults you can't do it. Three adults, one adult, whatever you may be. But in my opinion, we chose this one because it looked like a lot of fun for the girls and Jace. And um, there's loads of mini activities. You get to do like snow tubing, um, skiing, a little bit of like cross country skiing, snowmobi snowmobiles, <laughs> jet, jet ski came to my mind then. The camera's fogging up again, I apologize. And then just loads of different fun activities basically. So we have to be up at reception at 10 a.m. We're all just about ready to go. The girls and Jace have just gone outside because they've got their coats on and then we're hot in here. We're just finishing up getting Mila's and ourselves on and then we're going to head on out. What's up guys, coming at you on a very beautiful, very cool and chilly minus 22 morning right now here in Finland. Okay, little mans, are you ready for this today? Yeah! We're on a fun day today. We're doing the Apuka Snow and Fun, which yeah. is lots lots of different activities yeah. all in one day. Including, Daddy, yeah? Wait, wait, that, we all we have to put them on the string. Oh, you like them sledges, don't you, here? We all we put them on the string. <laughs> Including lots of things like snowmobiling, huskies, reindeer, and all sorts of other stuff. I don't, I don't exactly know what, but and a buffet lunch, which no one wants to think about because we just had breakfast. Yep. But you know, it's all good. Ooh, and it's a very cold day today. Yeah, but it's going to be so fun. Well, we're going on an activity now. We're going to do some fun stuff. Can we just go on? Can we just get wedged? Soon, little man. Soon. Soon. Okay, here we go. A very beautiful lake this morning. Jace, why do you need to listen? Come here, Jace. Goodbye. Esme? Who's you going first? Poor oh, Jace. Jace, Jace yeah, like, let me go and Esme goes, me. me. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> okay, so we're on the mini snowmobiles activity right now. So these guys all get to drive a snowmobile, which they've definitely been desperate to do all this holiday. <laughs> Look at this little bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's me. Don't crash. <laughs> yes, it's me. <laughs> Booted. Yeah. You excited? Yes. Yes, Isla. Woo! <laughs> Bless her. Yes. So we're on the Apuka Snow and Fun today. So for the first two hours, it's like a free-for-all just around this complex doing all the different activities. And then at lunchtime at 12, we're leaving the complex and going to doing something a little more exciting, which I know these guys are gonna absolutely love. So we've got ice sculpting here. We've got buckets and things and spades and all sorts. Yeah, Jason has made a little igloo, which is super cute. And then Isla is just down here with the little instructor trying out a bit of skiing. And me and Esme are about to take Mila to go and see. see the she loves horses. You want to go see the horses? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Look how stunning this place is. Oh my gosh, it's a dream. You alright Isla? Yeah. Doing some mini slopes on yeah, the skis. Yeah, we got some 
said like these ones just the around the edges. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, Dad's coming down now. <laughs> Did that hurt? No, it didn't hurt. <laughs> I was just looking at um, Esme's gone to get some skis on now. She saw the challenge, didn't she? She definitely saw the challenge, Esme. <laughs> the side one that's a little bit not as not as steep. Down. Yeah. So I'm gonna go on that one now. Oh, okay. And then once I can do that perfectly, then I'm gonna go on the big one. Cooly, cooly. So I was just looking at this thing here. Yeah. It looks like a sledge. So you sit on the sled there. And then someone can push you here, it basically just goes around in a big circle. So I said to Chris, let me go sit on that sled, you can push me around. <laughs> the tall guy said, you might break your back doing that. <laughs> Not because of me being heavy, but because, this is actually crazy. There's over a metre of snow here right now. And he said Chris would have to bend right down to the floor to push, obviously, to push me around. And it'll hurt his back bending over. Whereas when it's the start of the season or the end of the season, when it's like summertime, it's waist, that's at your, at your waist. That's at your waist. When you're stood here, that's waist high. So you just push it like that in front of you. But there's over a metre worth of snow here. It's so weird. I don't know why that fascinates me. When I'm walking on it, I'm like, oh yeah, a bit of snow. Over a metre. No, yeah. you don't realise how deep it is. I'm like, whoa, is it that deep? It's like over a metre. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's actually crazy to think about. Yeah, it is mad. Three, two, one. Oh no, I'm going to you good? No. <laughs> You're fine. You're all good. Well, maybe next time I need to be a bit more forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we kind of missed the slope. But it's all good. <laughs> Woo! No. You all good? Yeah, I'm going to just try it again to see if I can finish it off. Mm. So we just got to the reindeer park which is just across the road from the campsite the lady was just giving us a demonstration on how you Do the reindeer safely. yeah safety for the reindeer and some safety tips like don't they're wild animals so don't scream etc because it could freak them out um Esme and Isla are very excited because they get to go on the track or the trail on their own um so they are very excited about <laughs> about that and they've gone first so I think Chris has gone up there to film them and we're just having a little look at the reindeer they're so sweet, they're so cute. They're so beautiful. Oh no, he's not shy. <laughs> he's definitely not shy. He just snorted all over my face. Clearly got up too early for little man this morning. Oh man. Okay, so Esme and I are taking the reins first and going for a sleigh ride. <laughs> you're, you're driving the reindeer? Yeah, faster like that, slow up. Okay, man. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so the guys get to take it round down this track, I think. So we can start. Like a little faster, but you don't have to worry about this. Uh, hey, now. Usually, usually starts uh, going like slow, uh, slower speed after after a while. So cute. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So cute. <laughs> Mila, what's that? What is it? Horse? It's reindeer. <laughs> that looked so funny. It was your um, 
It was your laughing as you were going down. It just it killed me. It was so funny. <laughs> Mila. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Oh dear. Come here. I got you. Right. I mean, Daddy, you're gonna go on a reindeer ride. You wanna go on reindeer ride? Horse. It's reindeer. Can you say reindeer? Horse. Okay, it can be a horse. It's fine. <laughs> it can be a horse. <laughs> horse. It can be a horse. Woohoo! Okay, it's mine and Amelia's turn. You ready, Mewies? <laughs> You're going on a reindeer ride. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Scream. Hi Elmo! You saying hi to Elmo? <laughs> Gates is nervous, he's gonna scream. Yeah, you can't scream, okay? He's not okay. gonna scream. Stop. Isabel, stop, he knows. <laughs> you ready? Oh. Whee! <laughs> Go on Elmo! Just learning a few facts about the reindeer. There's actually more reindeer here in Lapland than there are people. Yeah. Which is crazy. Also saying that they take them all in in like, uh, winter time and, and feed them yeah. all. Bulk them up. Um, and then in summer they let them all out and the roads are just full yeah. of reindeer. It says they're all released in summertime. Um, they're all released and then they're just everywhere. He said they're just wild and they're everywhere, like in the roads and things. It was also saying about how the males and the females, when they lose their antlers, I think he said that uh, males is around December time and females is in March, but when they grow back in spring, in April, they grow at one, do you know the antlers grow at one centimetre per day? Oh, that's a lot. That's really fast. He yeah. said so they're really, really quick, a centimetre per day, and that when they're fully grown, combined, it's about 14 kilos on their head. So it's a relief when they lose their antlers. I mean, there's some work. Cool. Now we're jumping back in the sledges. Yeah. Well, a little too hard. We walk. And we're heading over to see the huskies. You ready, guys? Again. 
the leader at the owner was just saying that they cry like that because they want to keep going. You want to run again? You want to keep running? <laughs> Are you doggy talking? <laughs> Asmi, I know you want to take a horse cam. Now it's lunch time. So lunch is a jacket potato. It doesn't look too nice there actually, but it's like a jacket potato with a not the knife. No. <laughs> with a mushroomy. It's like a mushroomy type. It's got like dip. onions in it, I think, as well. Like, yeah, it's got. It's, it's really nice. It's like a mushroomy nice dish. Some other potatoes and then some delicious veg, which is so good. That's actually my second helping. It tastes divine. Come on, little woman. We're gonna go have a last play before we have to get in the van. Yeah. Oh no, you're in a bad mood. I swear down, Mila started a terrible two. She's literally been a little Hello. madam the last few days. <laughs> Come on, you little woman. Let's go, Jace. Yeah. Come on. Ready? She's learned to throw big paddies. Yeah, that's right, Mila. Butter would not melt in your mouth. Come on. Anyway, we're done. Uh, our, our little uh, adventure day was is finished. It was amazing, so nice. Highlight for me was definitely the Huskies. It was so cool to see them. And, um, and now we are just having a last little play, basically, after lunch, before we have to start the long, epic road home. We're not gonna do too much driving today, but we are definitely gonna cross back from Finland into Sweden because our route's gonna take us down the Swedish east coast, basically kind of back down to the bottom of Sweden and then cross into Copenhagen, kind of the way we came in. We're going the way back out. Anyway, we've basically just gone to the van and turned the diesel heaters on to thaw the place out because obviously it's been sat still for a couple of days and it's been the coldest temperatures we've had here so far, so everything is frozen <laughs> inside the van. All of our water, all of our water bottles, so we're leaving the van for a good hour with the diesel heaters on full before we even think about getting in it. Come on, sweet pea. <laughs> See, this one, this one is a little madam. She's, she's turning to a little woman. Hey, you want to pick fights all the time? <laughs> to be fair, I think she's just tired because she was up earlier today than normal for our adventure day, yeah? I know, come on, let's go find the girls. Anyway, Esme and Isla are on the toboggans, not the toboggans, the snow tubes. So we're gonna go join them for a minute and take in some of the last views of this incredible resort and place in Finland. So sad that we have to leave. So sad that we have to leave, but we know for definite now that we're definitely coming back here for 100% and we can't wait to come back here. Finland was never a place that we were coming to on this trip. It was a last minute route amendment so that we could come down a different way from Nordcap. And I'm so glad we did it, but also it's made us all so excited to come back next winter and spend proper time exploring Finland properly. It's such a massive country and it's got so much to offer and I just can't wait to see it properly again next year. But I am not. I know there's loads of people have made comments like, are you, are you guys sick of the snow yet? Are you ready for some sun? No, I'm not. I'm gonna really, really miss this. I want like this, for me, like ideally, this is how I would live 24 seven. All year round, I'd live in the Arctic and be very, very happy. Like I could never ever get bored of views like this and I'm really gonna miss them. The second we get super far south in Sweden and the snow disappears, I'm gonna feel really, really sad about that. And I know for a fact, I'm definitely speaking for Sarah on that one too. I mean, you guys don't even need to ask that. You know, Sarah, this is her, this is her dream world. This, all of this has been her dream. So it's kind of cool that we share that together. Uh, you know, we would both live in the Arctic, hands down, without a shadow of a doubt, any day. Jace, what are we doing? <laughs> There's no appeal! Yeah. Granny and Grandpa gave Jace 10 pounds a couple of weeks ago now. He's not spent it. But he's just found something he wants to buy. What do you want to buy to remember this trip? Yay! Should we have a look? <laughs> Go on then. Are they? Okay, what, what do you want to buy? Yeah? So there's a yellow one, a red one, or a black one. You choose which colour you want. Let's see. Let's see. We tried to get a little dog for Mila. Or a reindeer. She doesn't want it. She wants a car. She wants a snowmobile as well. <laughs> Come on, Lewis. Go. We've got to go pay. She just threw them. She was like, no. She was just all She threw the. She's like, no. I've got a red one. Yeah, Mila's got a yellow one. Yeah, they are really cute. Traditional mugs. So adorable. Play the game. Clever girl. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I know, mate. I don't want to leave either, buddy. But we've got to. We've got to go get back in the van now and get on the road. Come on. Super sad. Super sad. I know, as my. I don't want to leave this place either. Come on, darling. I'm just literally wiping the windscreen because it's fog. It's it's all foggy. Obviously, when we got in, just, we want, we're trying to go, fog. and it's not. It's not condensation. It's ice. <laughs> it's literally full on ice. Everything in this van right now is a block of ice. <laughs> Even though the diesel heater has been running for the last hour on full, it's still iced everywhere. It's crazy. I was looking forward to yeah. What was Isles? I was looking forward to coming back to my nice peach drink, but mm -hmm. it, it's a frozen block. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's frozen. It's frozen. <laughs> just parked up for the night looks like a really nice quiet spot just off of our route home so fingers crossed we get a good night's sleep tonight hey, all good hey, fine. Hey, Chris always good. jumps out and just double checks just everywhere <laughs> <laughs> just before we do end the vlog I wanted to say a massive massive thank you to a booker hotel for putting us up for the two nights we stayed there we did have a two nights <laughs> we did have the two nights stay gifted they did also give us a discount code for any of it's not our discount code it's just a discount code that they've got running globally I guess at the minute um, to get 20% off late winter breaks. So if anybody's interested in that, um, the link and all the information will be down below. I cannot recommend that resort enough. It was so beautiful, so unique, and just so many things to do there. Like, everything you could possibly want to do on a trip to Lapland, you can do at that resort. There's just so much. So yeah, we had a great few days there. Anyway, we're going to end the vlog now. Thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5pm. Good night guys! Mm -hmm.